Hello, hello, hello. Welcome and welcome back to Nita Price Plant Paradise. This is the place to come to take the time to exhale and enjoy nature's beautiful creations. Let's get a drink of choice, whatever it is you want to sit back and relax and just enjoy the beauty that nature has to offer right now. I hope everyone is doing well and doing fine this wonderful day. And at this time, you are looking at the Philodendron Clarinervia. Look at her. Oh my gosh. She's about to blossom. At first, I thought that was going to be an inflorescence. I think they call that. But it was not. And then I just wanted to show you a little bit of... My pothos, I have several different ones in this water vase that I have. I'm sorry, water vase, <laughs> glass vase. And it is the golden pothos, the marble queen, and the golden, I'm sorry, and the global green. So many G's. <laughs> Yes, and I just wanted to give you a little preview. You'll see more of this later on in the footage. And you know I love showing you the leaves very close up. They just, it, it just brings me such joy to look at the plants and just see the beauty in the leaves themselves. She has a very thick veining in the middle of her. See that? Oh my goodness. She's kind of like a slow girl. Oh my goodness, I can't speak today. A slow grower, but she does. Um, it seems like when she's ready to blossom, I will say that, uh, produce a new leaf, she will all of a sudden grow very quickly, it seems. And right now, I just wanted to just keep looking at her. I don't talk about her that often. I really have no problems at all right now. She is in the Aroid mix that I have for her. And see that? See, I really thought it was going to be some type of inflorescent the way that was coming up. Because the other leaves did not come out that way when they were about to you know, unfurl. But I really thought that was going to be an inflorescence. I was waiting for more of that to pop up. I found that very unique. This is the one I think I believe I spoke about before where I said she had, looked like it was going to be a twin because as you can see, I pan over is the one that's closest to the right. That's the one she shares that same stem with. And look at the greenery in her. Oh my goodness. She's just a beauty. I just want I just really like getting up on the the leaves like that. So you can see the veining in them. Look at that. It truly does make you want to exhale. <laughs> and this is the one she shares the same stem with this particular leaf. She came out, I believe it was last month or the month before. And yes, that's a little water on her because when I give her a little water, I don't so much as wet the leaves. But every now and then, if a water splash on it, hey, I let it sit there and let her soak it up and enjoy it. See how thick that is in the middle? That, that uh, her, the leaf, I mean, the part of the leaf, the, the veining part. She has a very thick, she has a lot of thickness there. there. There it is. See it? And this is also uh, the leaf that unfurled before the one you just I just looked at or we were just looking at 
and they usually pop up in a new stem and I just was surprised to see both of them coming out of that together it was it amazed me it really did I really like love her like when I keep saying like but I really love her a lot because like I said I have no problems with her at all none I think I lost one leaf uh, when I first uh, placed her in my office and I was a little bit upset about that it was long it was about 13 14 inches and it was because new leaves were coming out and she seems to just want to grow on one side of the pot as a as opposed to you know being over like sprouting out she's not a trailing type plant I should say she likes to be bunched together. She's just very beautiful. I really don't have a name for her. Then look, look what happened over the weekend. She unfurled, or she's beginning to unfurl. <laughs> she's beginning her unfurling process. I was so happy to see that. I said, oh my goodness, so it's going to be a leaf as opposed to an inflorescent. So she surprised me because as I said, I had no idea what she was going to be. As you can see, I really enjoy looking at the leaves. You all, I really get in there and I, I just want you all to really see the beauty of the leaves. I just think it's just amazing. I just love it. I really do. And I will actually sit at work and kind of stare at her or feel her. <laughs> kind of rub her a little bit just to look at her. And then next when I know she's giving me a new leaf. And I love that about her. No stress at all. None. And it really takes a while for that to unfurl. Now we're moving back to the Golden Pothos, the Marble Queen and the global green i may not be able to hold on to this particular leaf right there because look and i pan right down to it as you can see it does not it it, it, it i just end up cutting it <laughs> and she may produce fruits and she may not i'm thinking not she she's just gonna live in water this is where I wanted to put all the leaves in. I just thought it was so beautiful. And I was able to uh, get this. One of my coworkers uh, gave the, this uh, vase to me, this glass vase. I was so happy for that. Because I thought it was so beautiful. And I kept envisioning her in it. I said, wow, she would look good in that. When, um, when I was told that it was available. And I asked the person who owned it, would I, would I be able to have it? And they said yes. So I really appreciate that because this is where they're gonna live their best plant life. <laughs> I am not putting them in dirt. There is one that I do grow in dirt, but these are not going to be the one. And I say, I'm sure you all are wondering, Nita, where is the Marble Queen? Well, I had more of her, but somehow or another she ended up dying. And I also had some neons, neon pothos in there, but they died too. I don't know why. Um, and it was before I placed them in this particular vase. 
So now I just, the one, there is one leaf in there, which I will show you shortly that will act, you will actually see there is a marble queen in there. But right now you just see a, a wide variety. There she is. See her, she's underneath. That's the marble queen. The marble queen is right there. And as you can see, it was kind of looped around only because it was in a smaller vase. So when I took it out of that, I decided, like I said, to put them in this. And this is really nice. It is about 15 inch circumference and about five or six inches in height. It's a good size vase. I love it. And she looks fantastic sitting on my desk. She really does. And I, I just love, I, I just love looking at her. And of course I have to fill her up with water. She's very thirsty, I guess, because I have the lights on her. Over the weekend, I normally keep the lights on for the plants so that way they can, you know, get, get that light they need because there, is, there are lights on in the general major, major part of the office, but who knows if somebody might come in, come in and turn them off. So what I do, I just leave my lights on. And at nighttime, Monday through Friday, I click the lights off at night so they can get some rest. And they seem to like that. They have really acclimated up quite a bit. And also, I will make sure I give you another update on my anthurium, my pink anthurium. I know I digressed, but I just wanted you all to see. Look at the leaves. Look at it. Look at the difference. Of, look at the coloration in the leaf. Oh, my goodness. It is really so nice and I really hope this that gold this green one right there the global green I will really be able to hold on to this it's a beautiful leaf the leaf is bigger than my hand she really is she's a huge leaf and I would really love to keep her so I'm hoping that I'll be able to keep her, you know, that she'll stay alive. If not, we all know sometimes they do die off. See, there's the Marble Queen. I'm hoping to get some more. One of my coworkers is the one that gave me these cuttings. And I told her, I said, I don't know what happened, <laughs> but I hope she gives me some more cuttings. I'm sure she will. I'm going to remind her of it because uh, she said she would give me some more because I, I don't, for the life of me, know what happened to the leaves. They were doing fine. And then next minute I know they were dying. So that's why I figure I'm going to keep them, keep them all in water. I just want to see the difference. Like how fast one's going to grow versus the ones that grow in dirt. I think that would be really nice to know and to follow up on and to let you all see all the differences in the leaves. As you can see, each leaf is unique. It is truly unique. And at one point, I was thinking about putting it on a pole, 
But then I changed my mind because I thought this was more, it gives you that more exhale type where you can, you know, if, if you, for me, that's the way I'm feeling when I'm looking at it. I hope you all see where I'm coming from just to have it, you know, and keep it in the water. I just feel it just gives you that just exhaling and just exhaling. When you're having a hard day, you look at your plants and get that stress relief that you need that they can give you. looking in the, at the bottom of the water like that. And what I usually do, I give her, I put water in here about twice a week, believe it or not. Because sometimes by the end of the week, the water is gone, especially over the weekend since the lights remain on. Seems like she drinks a lot more, I guess, because she's thirsty. Because <laughs> that light is hitting her for the next, what, 48, 72, I'm sorry, 72 hours. So it, it's really nice to see she's enjoying the water in this vase that I have her in. Before, because I can't even see, um, I already know how long this video is. However, it's not giving me a timer on here. So what I wanted to do is just give you a beautiful thought right now. And we can continue looking at the beauty of this plant, living its best life in this water, in this vase. But I just wanted to, the beautiful thought I wanted to share today is to live is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist. That is all. That is by Oscar Wilde. So I just wanted to say thank you all for watching, stay safe, and God bless.